Hi everyone, I'm Hayley, I'm always in the craft room and I have made some more Carla lounge pants but from a woven fabric. I know, it was a journey, I'm going to tell you all about it but spoiler alert, it worked and I love them. So I did have to make a few changes obviously to make a knit pattern work with a woven fabric. It is a stretch woven and it is pretty stretchy. So the first thing I did was check how stretchy this triple crepe fabric was as compared to the Ponty from which I made my first pair. This came in at about 30 to 40 percent stretch. This was 15 to 20. So definitely a lot less stretchy. However, for a stretch woven, really stretchy. I measured myself, compared myself to the size chart, and for this pair, I made a size medium, even though I should have been a large at the waist and a medium at the hips. And I did that because I knew I would be able to get the medium waistband over my hips because they're proportionately smaller and I didn't want to cut a large waistband and then have a lot of gathering hair. I was really hoping for a flat front and I did achieve that. I'm so pleased with this pair and I have done a full review of the Ponty pair which I will link below. I cut the elastic for the waist at the size recommended for a large, just so that it wasn't digging in because as I say, I really am a large at the waist. So, when I got to cutting out this pair, I looked at the pattern and it comes with one centimeter seam allowances included. So I knew if I sewed it at six millimeters on my overlocker, I would gain four millimeters on the double at each side seam, which would be altogether 2.4 centimetres, about an inch. So there's already a little bit of leeway in there, isn't there? But just to be on the safe side, I added a half a centimetre seam allowance all the way around. So I literally laid the pattern pieces out and then just cut five millimetres away from the edge. So that made my seam allowance 15 millimetres. And my thought process was, if I sew at six, I gain nine millimetres, double it, double it, seven centimetres-ish. I mean, that's quite a lot of leeway, isn't it? So, I cut it out. Oh, and I will just mention, on this pair, I had removed one centimetre from the rise. I do have quite a short torso. I actually did it on that pair because I was short of fabric, but I was happy with the effect, so I left it. Once I cut them out with my wider seam allowance, I basted everything together just to check initially how it looked. And I did that on my cover stitch machine. And if you are lucky enough to have a cover stitch machine and you don't use it for basting, you are missing out. If you thread it with one needle thread, and the looper, it creates a chain stitch which goes in super quick and then if you just cut the needle thread twice at the bottom and tug on the chain, the whole thing just magically undoes. It's honestly so good. So I basted it all on that at six millimeters. And remember, I've got a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance and actually they were quite a bit too big. So I based it again at one centimeter and that was much better, but I did have too much fabric at the back. Now, my figure is such that I have quite a flat bottom and I hadn't done any kind of flat bottom adjustment on this pair. When it came to fitting these, so, my process was basically cut with extra seam allowance, baste, try on, run it in a bit, baste it, try it on, run it in a bit. But at the back, I just had too much fabric. 
So I did end up adding darts at the back waist and this was necessary for shaping. It is consequently my least favorite thing about this pair and you will see why in the footage I'm inserting because to me the darts are very visible. They just stand out on my butt cheeks in a bad way and I've pressed them, I've steamed them. I, I don't think I can make them any flatter. The only thing I've thought about, and I would love to hear people's thoughts if you have any ideas on how I can remedy this. I wondered if maybe I should cut the dark fabric away inside. Maybe that would help. This is a really spongy triple crepe. And it's just, it's quite bulky. It's very stretchy. It's difficult to press anyway. And that brings me on to the other thing I'm not that pleased with, which is the hem. It's just a bit ripply. I hemmed it on my cover stitch because it's a stretch fabric. Probably that wasn't necessary just because they're such wide leg trousers. The hem does not need to stretch at all. Um, you can see there, the, the wrinkle, it does annoy me. Does it annoy me enough to redo it? Probably not. But yeah, I wish that was a little bit better. The waist elastic, I cut at 81 centimeters and I did not overlap it. Whenever I'm doing waistband elastic, I tend to butt the two pieces of elastic together and then find a scrap of woven fabric and I zigzag the woven fabric to one side, zigzag it to the other so that the elastic isn't overlapping and adding additional bulk. So that's what I did on these. I also had to cut the waistband in two pieces. So on this pattern, the waistband is brilliant. It's one really big piece that you fold in half and you have just one seam at the back. So here you can see this front is completely flat and there is just one seam at the back. There's no side seams on the waistband. And I love that. However, we all know the alternative name of this channel. I only had a meter of fabric. So I couldn't cut the waistband as directed. What I did instead was face the waistband. So from my main fabric, I laid out the waistband piece folded in half, and then I added a seam allowance to the top edge. And then I looked around for something with which to face it. And I realized it needed to be something quite stretchy because obviously, these are stretchy trousers and they need to stretch to go on over my hips. So what I found in my stash was some bra making fabric. It's actually a power net alternative. The power net alternative worked really well as a waistband facing. It's comfortable against my skin and yeah, I'm really pleased with it. As you can see, they don't look completely flat when I hold them up, but once I'm wearing them and they get stretched, they do. So they are my Carla Lounge pants in a woven fabric. I am so pleased with them. I've ended up with a fantastic pair of summer trousers, which feel a little bit dressier, but are so comfortable to wear, pull on, and go but they're just a really nice sleek silhouette around the waist and then out these wide dramatic legs i am absolutely thrilled with them i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you again soon bye bye